Hi folks, a uh, quick how-to video to show you how to replace the KSQ circuit board on your ATI LED power module. To start, we're going to need a few tools. The first is going to be a small to medium-sized Phillips head screwdriver. Second, you're going to need a very tiny flathead screwdriver. Next, a pair of needle-nose pliers. And then finally, if you have it, a drill, which will uh, expedite the process of removing the end plate. So to start, we're going to remove the end plate on the opposite side of the lamp cord. And to start that, I'm going to take my small to medium head Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to loosen all the screws that hold the end plate in place. Once I've gotten loosened, I'll go ahead and take my drill and take them out real quick. Once we've got all the screws removed, go ahead and uh, remove the end plate and set it aside. Next step is going to be removing the middle metal plate from the fixture itself. All we need to do is gently slide this out. Uh, when we do, be careful just to make sure the metal doesn't bend. It's uh, a little bit of a thin metal and it can bend um, if you're not careful with it. Also make sure it doesn't get caught on any of the wires or the fans that run along this trough here, uh, which the metal plate protects. Next step is going to be to remove the fan next to the KSQ we're going to replace, which in this case is going to be number two. To start, we're going to take our needle nose pliers and we're going to remove hot glue that's holding the left and right side of the fan in place. There we go. Once you got that loose, go ahead and pull the fan out. And then there's a little black uh, tube here that's holding the wires in place. You want to go ahead and pull that out as well. That'll release the fan wires a little bit for you. You can actually then move the fan and set it aside. Next is going to be to uh, remove the current KSQ from the fixture. And to do that, we're going to slide the KSQ over until the little notches in the actual board itself match up with the notches in the fixture frame. So you've got them lined up, you can kind of gently move the KSQ, pull it up. Next step is to uh, swap the wires from the current KSQ to the new KSQ. A couple things before we get started. One, obviously I've flipped the original KSQ over so we can get a better look at it here. And then I've taken actually the uh, bubble wrap that was used to protect the new KSQ and I've laid it down here on the fixture just to give us a good clean working surface. Now what you want to do is remove one wire at a time and move it again from the original KSQ to the new KSQ. What we'd recommend doing is to start with the blue wires. So you want to do your top blue, your second blue, your black, your red. Then go to the other side and do your uh, black and red connector top, and then your black and red connector lower. Then also move your fan wire over as well. And then finally, the two connectors in the middle. Again, do the top one first, and then the second one over. Um, one little trick here, one little point to, to point out for you guys, is that these connectors here are a little bit difficult to remove the wires. You're going to need a uh, small flat bladed screwdriver. I've already actually removed the first wire, but I'll go ahead and remove the second one. You do need to press on it uh, real, real good to get it to come out here. Um, some come out a little bit easier than others. The first one actually took a little bit more effort. This one came out pretty easily. So again, we're going to take this one then now and move it over to the first connector on the new KSQ. Once it's in there, make sure you give it a little bit of tug, make sure it's in there well. And then we're going to again move the second blue wire over again. And again, just to repeat, do one wire at a time again so you avoid any confusion of potentially swapping one wire for another because if they're not put in the exact same way it will uh, cause the fixture not to work correctly. So now that we've got all the wires in place in our KSQ, our new KSQ, uh, we want to just double check the fixture or test the fixture real quick to make sure that the LEDs for this spot and for the spots after this are now working. So what I've done here previously is I've just propped the fixture up off the uh, table a little bit so we don't burn the table itself when the LEDs come on. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the control box and test it to make sure the LEDs are working. Looks good. The LEDs are now firing for this fixture um, in all three spots. So we're good to go. going to go ahead and unplug the fixture and then we'll uh, re run the wires back in here for the KSQ. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the KSQ back into the fixture housing. Uh, before we do that, we need to tuck the wires back into the original troughs. 
and uh, run them back down where they originally came from. So to start, um, easiest thing to do is to kind of start to flip the, the uh, KSQ over a little bit. You can take this green wire here and you're going to tuck it into the trough just next to the connector here. You can bend it a little bit to make it fit a little bit better in there. It's a little bit of a pita to get these wires in here, but once you get them going, it'll, it'll fit in there nicely. So we got that one in there pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and then start on this side here, over here. And um, this other black and green wire is going to get run in the same trough where the uh, blue wires and the, uh, the tan wires and the red wires are at as well. So you kind of bend it over here, gently feed them back into there, and then you take your little piece of uh, rubber tubing, kind of shove that in place there to hold those in place here. I'll then check my wires over here just to make sure I'm not catching on anything. Looks like we're pretty good. We're going to go ahead and line the KSQ up. Tuck those in a little bit better. So again, the, uh, the tabs go into the uh, tabs that are pre in the housing. So again, you need to get it all the way down. Again, if you want to look at the other KSQ to the left or the right to make sure you've got it all the way lined up, get it all the way down, and then it'll start to slide once it's in the right trough here. And you want to slide it over about an inch and a half the most. That yeah, looks about right. Actually, in that case, it's about a little more like closer to an inch. It's got to slid over there. So now we're going to go ahead and tuck the wires over here into the uh, far left trough as well. A little bit more difficult to do. Get them all lined up. And again, we have another piece of uh, black tubing to, to hold that all in place there. Looks pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is going to uh, tuck the fan wire uh, back in place as well. To do that, uh, remove the black tubing again from the uh, lamp cord side of the KSQ here. Go ahead and tuck the uh, black and red wire into that same trough here. Should be pre-bent because you had it out earlier. Kind of feed it in there pretty well, pretty easily. Go ahead and put the uh, tubing back in place to hold it all together. And then we're going to lay the fan in place. Now you want the label side of the fan down, and then you want the black and red wire to be facing towards or in, in parallel with the uh, lamp cord side of the fixture itself. I'm going to go ahead and lay that down in place. Now the exact position of the fan may need to be adjusted a little bit when you put the uh, metal plate in, in place um, so that it lines up with the uh, appropriate spot in the metal plate itself. But roughly, you know, about a finger width away from your KSQ. Next thing we're going to do is, uh, now that we got everything back in place here, uh, we're going to go ahead and plug the fixture back into the wall just to make sure that while we were rerunning the wires back in here, we didn't accidentally knock something loose uh, in that process. So, I'm going to go ahead and power the fixture up real quick. All the LEDs came on, so everything looks good. Next thing we're going to do is going to uh, put the uh, metal plate uh, back into the middle of the fixture here. You want the uh, label side of the plate to go towards uh, the lamp cord side of the fixture. And it's going to go in the top groove. And you just gently work it in again. Support it with both hands as again, it's a little flimsy and it can bend on you a little bit. As you're sliding it in, be really careful to make sure you're not catching any of the wires on any of the case cues or any of the fans themselves. Should go in pretty easily. Should slide nice in there for you. If it does catch again, make sure you're not catching any wires or KSQ or fans. Next step is to make sure that the uh, fan for the KSQ that we just replaced is lined up with the vents that are cut in the middle of the uh, metal plate here. As you can see, it's just slightly off, and that's really hard to judge exactly where to put it when you're putting the PSQ in place. So all you need to do is just take a small uh, flat-butted screwdriver, and you're just going to gently push against the fan itself. Don't press against the, uh, the vents in the, in the metal plate, but gently against the fan body. 
line it up so again the, the, the fan is centered in the middle of the vents themselves. Last thing to do would be then to uh, put your end plate back on on the uh, opposite side of the lamp cord, tighten it down with some screws, should be good to go. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us at atinorthamerica.com.